I think that's a really beautiful thing about what the moon represents in Chinese culture because for me it's like Mid Autumn's Festival also has so many stories in there. Like there's the myth of Changla, right? And how she flew to the moon after drinking the immortality potion. So now she lives on the moon. And it's kind of representative of two people who do miss each other. So maybe I'm in China, my sister's in the UK, but we can both look up at the same moon and kind of connects us in some way. So I, if I'm to write a song, I have actually written a song about that, where I used water as a metaphor to connect us. So, for example, a, a song in, a, in the song China Blue, um, I wanted to create this idea that I was a person who actually lived in Jindajun, making China. So I wanted to pretend that I was back in the ancient time doing the painting of that. So the idea was, if I paint you on the China plate, then every time I'm missing you, I can look at it and remember that the river that I'm sitting next to doing this painting flows back into the ocean. And that ocean has another river linked to it, which you're sitting next to. So the, the metaphor of the river flowing into the ocean means that no matter what, if I really want to, we're always connected. Even though we seem like we're very far apart, the water connects us because if I get into the river, go over the ocean and then get go through the other river, then I'm with you. So we're connected in that way. So I'll paint you in that china blue to remind me when I'm missing you that the river flows into the ocean and leads straight back to you. This is CGTN Radio. Hear the difference.